In this short video, we're going to uh, discuss diagnosis of rapid blight uh, for diagnosticians or superintendents or turf grass managers that have encountered this disease and want to diagnose it themselves and have the equipment, which is, would be a dissecting microscope and a compound microscope, just to give you an idea uh, what you'd be looking at. The image here is a uh, plug of a sample of, from a POA annua green that has been attacked by rapid blight. When we put the sample under a dissecting microscope, we get a better look at the uh, water-soaked lesions or the areas that are water-soaked. And what you want to do is reach in and grab a portion of the leaf. Try to grab near the base of the leaf and then rip the leaf uh, up somewhere near the midrib. If it rips somewhere in the middle, uh, it's perfect. Uh, what you want to do is get the edge of that leaf to be torn in a way that you have the cuti cuticular cells in kind of a monolayer, so you can see right through those cuticles uh, when you look at it. Then put that uh, that piece of tissue on a microscope slide, and we come back and always take a, another sample. This will be the other half of that leaf. We'll try to reach back down in and grab it to uh, rip it off, and put that also on the slide. And then from here, we'll um, we'll take that uh, slide with the the mount and put it onto a compound microscope where we'll see something that looks like this. Uh, those two little cells that just went by and this one in the bottom are the spindle-shaped cells of Labyrinthria terrestris. And what I like to do to confirm that the, uh, the organism is actually in the plant is to look at the uh, edge of the cells where it's been ripped apart, focusing up and down like, uh, like I was doing there, and you'll see uh, along the way some of these uh, cells inside the tissues. There's a few uh, right in the middle of the screen there sort of uh, oblong shape right inside the, uh, the cell layer. And so we're looking just at a single cell uh, depth. And we keep scanning up. Uh, it takes a, a little bit of time to look around enough to where you can be sure that you're seeing the, uh, the organism inside the tissues and uh, to get a good confirmation that this is actually inside and not uh, just outside. And there we can see some cells uh, right inside uh, the plant uh, tissues. And that's pretty much the, uh, what you need to confirm the diagnosis as rapid blight caused by Labyrinthula terrestris.